Hi everyone, hey it's Diane. Have you ever planted dahlias? I have from seed, but today we're going to be planting them from a tuber. So as you can see, I got some orange one and red one. Aren't they beautiful? These are supposed to be large dinner plate dahlias. This one's called Mrs. Eileen and this is called Garden Wonder. Now dahlias are not hard to grow. And normally I'd grown them from seed in which they were really easy to grow. But I wanted to try it from a bulb this time, but I'm going to start it indoors and we have to soak the bulb for an hour in water. So let's do that. So let's get these open. These see what they look like. They're a pretty good size. It says these are number ones. Hope they're going to be good. You never know about these tubers. Oh my, look at this. Look at this, guys and gals. Seems a little dry, so we're going to submerge that in the water. Well, I thought to get another bowl. I didn't realize they were going to be this big. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? Let's open up the next one, the red one. Oh, I just love red. It's just so pretty. I hope it's a nice one. I'm also going to mark them somehow here. Make sure that I like to keep track of what color they are just to kind of see where it I guess it isn't really going to matter. But. All right, let's check this one out. They're very dry, I'm noticing. I'm just praying that they're going to be worth messing with. You see this one here? Growing tip is right here. This is where you want to plant this up and we'll do that in a little bit once these soak. So let's get it soaked into water good. Okay, we'll wait an hour. These have been soaking for an hour and I wanted to show you I can see them a lot better now and I know that this, see this stem here? This has to face up when you plant them. And right here there is some growth already coming. So once I got all the dirt off of them, you could really see. But check out all them tubers. Aren't those amazing? So that's alive. That one's alive. Let's look at this one. This one has got some things going on here on the stem. And I've never grown tubers before, dahlia tubers. So, but I think it's going to be a fun experience. It's supposed to, it says up to 18 flowers on each tuber plant up to 18 you can get anywhere from 0 to 18 so I just got some gallon pots it says to put these in the ground 6 to 8 inches deep I'm putting them in pots because it's cold outside here yet and I'm gonna start them indoors and then they're gonna be transferred outside later okay so what I do is I got some soil very lightly moistened it says don't moisten too much or you know you, you could rot the tubers and we don't want to do that so I'm going to say about right there I put about in this gallon pot I probably put maybe a couple inches in there and we are going to plant this baby look at this thing isn't this amazing I see some growth down in here too now well, this will be fun it stands kind of tall you see that it says to put Two to three inches of soil over it. Some to say you can get by with one. So just try a couple different things. There we go. I'm going to be putting these down in my grow room for right now. So this one is the orange one. Put a little soil, like I said, one or two inches on the bottom. Two is probably about right. Again, you can see the stem here, right? All the tubers around. It's an amazing little thing. Set it right down in there, like so. Put your soil over the top. And I may give these a little shot of water, but you just don't want to overwater them. you got to be really careful. This soil holds a little moisture here. It's really nice. It's a peat perlite soil with some bark in it. It's really nice stuff. Works great for most things that I grow. It really cuts down on disease. There you have it. We'll bring you back when I start seeing some life. So I brought the dahlias downstairs in my grow room and they really don't need any light right now but they just need some warmth. So I actually, if I just put them on my heating mat. Now if you want you can put them in a sunny window if you want to. That will heat the soil up nicely. Just You can put them in an area in your home where it's warm 
and then until you can start seeing some growth and I decided to wet them just a very little and then I'm just putting a, a little plastic wrap over them just to keep the moisture in just a little bit and I'll probably pull it off every day but if you don't have this kind of setup just put them in a warm location in your home and just kind of watch them and wait for them to see some green come spiking out of the soil there's different ways you can do this so don't feel you have to have all the equipment that you need to grow dahlia tubers today is April 28th it's been 10 days since I planted the dahlias dahlias have been this one has been up actually a couple days and I wanted to wait till I got a little more growth before I showed you this one here just popped out maybe yesterday can you see it so I had these on a heating mat at around 70 75 just to get them sprouted a little quicker and it did work pretty nice they're down here in my grow room and we'll see how they do how they grow here as soon as we stay warm at night they're going to be going out in my little greenhouse so today is May 2nd Let's see how the dahlias are doing from the bulbs or the tubers that we planted look how big this one's gotten look at that and it's got another new one coming right here new shoot but I would really like to get these outside so they don't stretch too bad in here but they're growing pretty good here's the other one it did not come up as fast but it's starting to come and I like it's the way it's growing right now it's not getting too leggy so you can see how much they've grown since our last update so here's what I'll do I'm going to do as soon as we get some warmer nights these are going to go outside in my little greenhouse from there I'm probably going to put them in some pots or in the ground and let them really grow okay because then by fall you can either dig them up or if they're in the pots I can just bring the pot in right because you cannot leave these out well in my area zone 5 we cannot leave these out so I don't know what your zone is these do not work in our area May 9th update on the dahlia check this out look how they are doing would you say they've grown quite a bit this one's a little more spindly than I'd like it look at this one this one is the red dahlia I like the look of this one a whole lot better isn't that beautiful pretty nice plant to get this one to look a little nicer um, I could probably cut it back and have a couple shoots coming up in here I could probably take this top out right here and then I could have some new shoots coming out I just not going to do it just yet I might wait till I put these outside May 18th update on the dahlias coming along really nice I love the way this one looks the best it's got a darker color in the leaves this is the red one this was the orange one it's a little more lanky in the way it looks it's getting a little tall and I did say that I might cut it back but I haven't I might do it you know later on but they really it really looks like it could use it doesn't it we are at August 2nd and finally the dahlias are starting to bloom this one's the red one we'll check it in a couple days and see if the blooms will be out a little bit more we're at August 3rd today well it's the next day just tech check out that red dahlia isn't that beautiful it's got several other blooms on it so they're coming it turned out to be a pretty nice plant but not as big as I thought it was going to be isn't that pretty it hasn't even opened all the way yet I wanted to capture this moment because you never know what's going to happen my yellow dahlia already bloomed one time and we have one that's getting really close so hopefully I can capture that to show you well I got the yellow dahlia blooming not near as pretty as a red and then the beetles got a hold of it too but the plants actually growing pretty nice here we've had some blooms but where I have it growing isn't growing as nice because it gets some shade here in the afternoon but it seems to be stretching right here so this dahlia seems to be either a little taller variety then the other red one looks a lot more stout or it's just the lighting but this would have been really pretty if the bugs wouldn't have got a hold of it so this will complete this video on growing the dahlias for